Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Tiffany and today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial and it's nothing like fancy, but like it's giving. It's serving what I needed it to serve. It gave what I needed it to give, okay? So simple, but still a serve. If you guys are not already subscribed, make sure you do that before we jump into the video. But without further ado, I ain't really got much else to say. Let's jump right into it. All right, we are jumping right into face. As you guys can see, I touched up my color, so now my roots are dark too. So, who am I? I mean, I'm putting on weight today. My hair isn't retwisted or nothing, but I just wanted to let you guys know that that's what I had going on in my life. What do you guys have going on in your life? Let me know. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put on this Beauty Bakery, I'm about to say baking oil. Oh, that is what it's called, the baking oil for face. Boop. And I kind of want to be glowy today, so that's why I'm using this baking oil, even though I'm not using the foundation that goes with it, but glowy, but not nothing crazy, nothing crazy though. So I'm going to take my Black Opal Foundation Stick in Black Walnut. This lighting right now is top notch, grade A top tier lighting okay top nope tier that oh. yeah that happened that's hella crooked um When you blend it out, it doesn't look too bad, but like, it happened. <laughs> so, yeah. For highlighter, I'm going to take this Born This this Born This Way multi use Sculpting Concealer and Butterscotch. I'm not going to double conceal today. Um, I'm just going to use this shade. I might do a second layer of it, though, after I put my foundation on, but... If y'all see me putting on more concealer, no, it's this, uh, it's this shade and this actual concealer. So don't worry. I know I said what I said and I meant it, but I'm just saying, bear with you girl. Okay. So I'm going to buff out that foundation stick. If y'all never try that black opal foundation stick, I don't even know if they still sell that foundation stick because that's old, okay? And honestly, I probably shouldn't even be using it anymore because like when I say it's old, I don't even want to tell you how old it is because you will be appalled at me still using it. So I'm not going to tell you how old it is, but just know it's old and I probably shouldn't be using it anymore, but it's good. So if you guys see it in the store... Pick it up. I mean, I can't really attest to how it is for an actual foundation because obviously it's not my color, so I can't tell you how it is an actual foundation. But for a contour, if you're looking for a contour stick, that's not a contour stick, but like that's a contour stick. Get into that black opal stick. Okay, I'm gonna go off camera and actually hold on. I'm gonna use my Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation in Sable. And I'm probably gonna blend this on, blend this off camera because my cousin I think needs to call me. So you guys don't need to see me blend this. You guys have seen me blend my foundation several times. So I just wanna tell you guys what I was using. And then I will come back on here when it's time to set. And we will regroup it. <laughs> I'm back and I'm fully blended. I almost didn't make it because my cousin is a fucking fool. Okay, she's a fool and she had me cracking up on the phone. So I'm gonna take my Laura Mercier powder, my regular translucent. Oh God. Whew. Oh, the only thing I did off camera was um, add my Milani blush. 
my cream blush i forgot i wanted to use that so i went ahead and did that because i was still on the phone so i felt like it was no point in me coming back just to show y'all that i put on blush when i could just tell y'all what it was when i actually made it back okay question for the girls do i want my eyeshadow to be like sharp or do i want it to be like blown out on the edges <sighs> Honestly, I don't know. So, <laughs> I'm just going to leave the corners out for right now. I gotta, I gotta burn. It's not coming. I'm going to go ahead and take my Fenty Bronzer and Coco Naughty. Really don't know why I was about to check. It's not like I have more than one color. I use this almost every day. And I'm just going to pat this onto my cheeks. Because I want to give sun kissed i want to give sun kissed and bronze i don't know why i got this big ass brush this used to be my favorite brush but the more i do my makeup it makes me wonder why i like this big ass brush because i don't have a big face <laughs> like this covers a lot of like space and it might cover too much space if i'm being completely honest like i might need to like bring it back i've been using smaller brushes like my bronzer being all the way down here and that my concealer being all the way down here i don't know why i just like how it looks all right so my eyes are nothing special just all matte if you hear my child i really do apologize but he's going through something i'm gonna take these two shades and mix them together these two browns well this is like a nude and pack that on my outer corner. Oh, this is the Vanessa X Julius Place palette. He's freaking out, guys. And then I'm going to take the orange and pack that on my lid. Okay, then I'm going to take this Sigma brush, I know my go-to brush, and dip into that like nude, like neutral shade, the lighter one, and dust it around the edges. It's my brows. It's my brows for me. Because these eyes are like nothing special, but it's definitely the brows for me. Okay, that's really the eyes done. I'm going to go pop on this brown liner and pop on some lashes. Okay, my face is basically done now. Um, these are my lashes off Amazon. The ones I normally use. These aren't the exact ones I normally use, but they are in that pack. Because I have a multi-pack and I also have that one pack that has all the same lashes in there. These came out the multi-pack. So, now I'm going to go ahead and don't want to put on highlighter. I don't know. Will decide. I'm gonna line my lips with this brown liner. It's just from the beauty supply. This this will do. I'm going to take my Fenty Beauty. I'm about to say, what is this called? Man, this is the Stunner Lip Paint in Uncuffed. 
and I do have orange on my eyes and this is this leans more pinky but we're gonna go with it a little bit of gloss on. Mm. This that was the Naomi gloss from the Vanessa Andreas Place collection. I don't think I'm gonna put on highlighter because I like how everything looks like this. So I think I'm going to just leave it like this. What's happening here? I don't know what that's about but yes I think I'm gonna leave it like this I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face and plop my wig on and then we'll be back so this is the finished look you guys saw before I actually hopped off camera let me just move up so you guys can see But I am obsessed with how this turned out. It came out so good. And I'm actually going somewhere with my... Uh, now, I don't know if I'm going to leave this wig on. I might throw on my other, like my black wig. This is a lot for right now for a Friday afternoon going to the grocery store with the family. This is a lot, a bit much. But like, it's a vibe. It's a big vibe. But if you guys like this video and you like this look, give it a thumbs up. If you have not already subscribed before, you know, we got this far, do that. And if you made it this far in the video, leave me the little kissy emoji. The lips, not the actual face that's kissing, but the lips down in the comments. I would like to know who watched my videos all the way through. But yeah, that's all I got for today. So like I always tell you guys, I'm a girl Tiffany. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next one.